Any agenda revisions? Anybody? No? Any public comments or correspondence? Okay, so that's good. We're going to board reorganization. So we need to elect the vice chair. So if you have any nominations for vice chair? I would be amenable to doing it if no one wants to do it. I nominate, I mean, <laughs> Stevens. I second that. Okay. All those in favor of appointing Stephen as the vice chair, please say aye. 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 Okay. Okay, so we need to establish a. Do we want to stay with our same time for monthly meetings? Is that okay with the central I would, office? I would ask that you stay with the time and date that you're on. Yeah. I would make a motion that we uh, maintain the same day and time for regular monthly meetings. It's, it's third, third Monday at 5.30. It's the third Monday of each month, okay. beginning at 5.30. Yeah. I'll second that. For those in favor of the motion proceeding, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, so establish our uh, Denise paper and location for official posting. So I would recommend to the board that you use the Times Argus. We're already currently using them at then. Um, and I believe the school, the town office is in Dudley, so three. We use, you guys have always done three, even though you need two yeah. as the official locations. I make a motion we keep it the same. <laughs> I'll second it. All those in favor of approving the official post invitations, please say aye. 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 Okay, Hilaire represent to the and an alternate to the Washington Center. Oh, no, I'm an eighth floor. <laughs> Is the Representative for executive. Can I nominate you as the alternate? I'm willing to do it if no one else, if someone wants to be able to do it. No, I don't do it. I know how to do it. I think that would be good. Mm -hmm. okay. I said both of them. Yeah, I have a slate. Yeah, I was trying to do a slate of that one. Mm -hmm. So we'll make it as one motion. You're going to make a motion. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Do it out of your, yeah, you're fine. Okay, we have it together. Mm hmm. So, something like I see. All those in favor of approving the representative to the executive committee and the alternate, please say aye. 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 So, oh, and elect three voting members to the supervisory union board. Well, it looks like we just elected Floor and Stephen, according to that note. So, Darcy has been our third one, is that um, correct? Um, I make a motion that we have the Darcy plus the Flora and Stephen. Second. Both those in favor of approving the motion as read. Do you have all of that? Are we going too quick? <laughs> Sorry. Um, we might the, be going a little too fast. Just the last one. I oh. Ms. Johnson made a motion to elect Darcy. Floor and Stephen to as voting members. And I second it. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Okay. So now we we the I was just and yeah. we said that we were continue to do our committees in, for the time being, and the changes they'll change, but for now, we, so. I was in post negotiations, and I'm still doing it, so I'm sure. Yeah. So, should we try to do it as a slate? Yeah, we do yeah. it as a slate. Most so people do this as a slate. Okay. So, Stephen, and then policy, it was it's me. Uh-huh. Transportation, I think, is me. 
We're following this. Let's go. So, negotiation, Stephen? And, oh, but we need a motion for I'll this. I'll make a motion. I'm the only one that right now. I was going to offer to do something. But. Well, it says we need an alternate to each. No, well, we've only been doing, I know that's been the standard. We've just said let's put one person yeah. on it for right now. Okay. With where we're at at this moment. Okay. So I'll, I'll make a motion to elect uh, Stephen as negotiations. Um, Lindy as on the policy committee. Uh, Ruben on transportation and Floor on school quality. I'll second that. Well, those in favor of the motion as read. Aye. 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 That's it's Alicia. The, the principal, yeah. I would just say that you say it's the principal of the elementary school. Do we need to make one? Yes, you do. Yeah. I'll make a motion to appoint uh, Alicia Lightford as the true and officer. Do we think the recommendation by name, or do we think I, the recommendation is by position? By position. Oh, okay. Yes. By position. Okay, sorry. I will make a motion to appoint the principal. The each one player principal as the true and officer. All those in favor of approving the motion, Ms. Beth, please say aye. 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 So if that's by statute, why do we have to do it? You're asked to do it. Do it anyway. Miss okay. Moore. So. It's Anybody part of reorganization. <laughs> well, we, didn't, we don't have to. Well, you can point to it. Because sometimes an SRO is the school resource officers. Oh, okay. Maybe if they're too, it's the students. Okay. Gotcha. So moving to the consent agenda. Approve the minutes. So we have been having all these very short meetings, and we have managed to not approve our meetings mm -hmm. for a little while because they were pretty small. So uh, can we have a motion to approve the minutes? Do you have? Do we have a? There? Yeah. Do we have a discussion have first or after? After. Okay. I would make a motion. I'll second it. Any discussion? On yeah. That? On the 3-7, um, the minutes reflect that I nominated Darcy for the clerk. They're just backwards. Darcy nominated me for the clerk. I think unless I'm mistaken. but. 2.2 .2 on the 3-7 minutes, which is page 12. So you, I mean, Ruben put together the PowerPoint that you had at town meeting, so you could use that again. Nothing's really changed on that. So we were going to do that, use that for, for April 4th. Right, right. Yeah, but if yeah, you want to use it other places, you can. Um, if you even wanted to do a voiceover, you could do that. Um, and then right now, I actually saw a draft of the, because there's not a town report, we're outside the town report window. I shouldn't say because there isn't, because there was a town report. But the budget's outside the town report window. We have to produce and send something mm -hmm. to the voters. And I've been recommending to everyone to not make things different. So we have a whole budget packet that's taken uh, your letter, Ruben, when you were the chair that wrote for the board. And it really didn't need to be altered at all. But that's the beginning of it. And it has the budget presented along with tax calculations and all that that wasn't in the town report. Um, Ben Merrill, who we work with with all our publications now, we've got Jetstream services getting going to do automatic mailing to all of them. We have from Rosie the 
addresses of all the all the residents where all the voters live. So we're getting ready to push send on that. It has to be to the voters ten days prior to the election. So I think it's going out this week, frankly. Mm -hmm. Good. So yeah, we've we've got that all set to go. I mean, you could have had the option to do a postcard and tell people where to get it online. And I just thought that was too much for this year and in subsequent years. Well, are we going to have to do another mailing when the district board warns it up? Yes, we will. All this is costing us. It's by statute that you have. You, you don't have to do a mailing. You could do a postcard that said, if you'd like a copy, please call, or you may access it on this website. Yeah. Yeah. But I think right now, with the, where my recommendation to all boards has been send it. Right. It's what people are used to. We can change that down the line. So I'd uh, be glad to do whatever else you need for the district meeting and vote, but those are the pieces we're getting going on right now. We think we've got, you know, Rosie's Got everything ready to go for the election piece uh, for the ninth for up here. And uh, so, that being a, a, so I hear consensus in the mailing is going out, and everybody's mm -hmm. okay with that. So, backing up to the April 4th, yeah. we, we had you know, changed the, the time. So, we were talking, at least I couldn't be here with us, but April 4th is also the school learning celebration, the celebration of learning, whatever you want to call it. So we were going to take advantage of that and set up in the gym. We, we're not going to have going to be packed because, to the brim with people wanting to see their kids' celebration of learning, not yeah. hear so, this. Yeah, so what we thought is that we wouldn't do it. We wouldn't do, uh, you know, we would leave it. We would run the presentation because we did a presentation for town meeting. We would run the presentation continuously. Just getting the lights we, off of this presentation, huh? We, well, we would be, the five of us, you know, two could be outside, three could be inside, and we would have what we've done before. I think you were on the board already when we did this, or maybe it was before you. Just try to, you know, give the option to people to come in. I was here for informational things. It wasn't like a town yeah, we meeting. Cafeteria. We were in the cafeteria, yeah. but we thought we would go to the gym because it has the ability to have the connection so they have, to. They don't have anything going on for celebration of learning. In the gym? No. There's nothing in the gym. Yeah, Alicia said to you the cafeteria or the gym. Either, either one. We're fine. There's stuff going on in the library, which was the other option. But so. and, we, and I thought I suggested a floor that you just put the PowerPoint on a loop mm -hmm. and you could add, answer anyone's questions. You could have extra, we're getting like 50 to 75 extra print. print copies of the booklet. So if anyone has any questions, you could ask and you could just put a sign up. You know, we're here to give you information about the budget. If you'd like to come in and ask questions, blah, blah, blah. But then you guys could wander around too in the building and see the great, the great night that is a celebration. Yeah. And, and this conversation started because we were trying to figure out, I was wanting to have a childcare. And they were like, oh no, we had the celebration, right? so we don't need to, we don't care, so we're ready to hear. So we will have to post in front of Bridge Forum to get you know, other community members that are not parents also. But also be good because they will get to see what's going on in school. Yeah, a little bit too crowded, but uh, you know, we would have, sort of hit both. We wouldn't have a slide of kids, but we would have actual learning in school. Maybe. So it'd be a little crowded, but we would just take advantage of it since it's already warm and everything. So are you guys comfortable with that? Yeah, I'm yeah. supposed to work till 7:30 that night, but I think yeah. I can. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that. But as long as well, you, have quorum, so. you don't even need a quorum for yeah. an information. Because it's we're not making so any. So so I, mean, I, I think. Good, actually, yeah. Yeah. I think I can get there, but. Be but I think it's just getting exactly. a presentation from oh. the room and just throw it up on the room. I have it. I have a conflict with celebration of learning, so but yeah, you have I to be here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll be here, but I would yeah. like to. Yeah, no, you like should be there. No, no, you should be there. So that, that's the whole so point of the. the potentially, I'll, I'll, I'll be there. I'll have to wait and see. There might be a negotiation session. Okay. One, two, I will or four. be in the gym for sure. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I sent that email out. If, if I don't have a conflict with a negotiation session. Okay. okay so are we going to run it longer than the celebration, or are we going to just do the hours of the celebration? I I, I think about, just the hour of the celebration. Yeah, that's what we were trying to figure out if we could block something at the beginning or something at the end, but it, we thought it would be better if we just think, let people free flow. I think the way Bill described it, put it on a loop yeah. and just yep. say. We're just there to answer questions. So it's 537. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, 537. Yeah. And I can look it up. 
Yeah. It's a great, it, it, that is tremendous activity, that acceleration. So. Yeah, so it'd be really good. Acceleration 537. And then for April 9th, since we have, we're having a critical committee meeting on Wednesday, we talked briefly about proposing, I don't know if our board wants to do the same thing, but for April 9th, proposing that see if every school agrees to that chapter, so we can get more parents to their You mean the 8th? Sorry, the 8th, yes. The 8th? No, it's the 9th. No, it's no, the eight. Eight. Sorry, budget vote. So the budget vote, sorry. The budget vote's the eighth. So Nine. Eight. But let's see. Oh, we have that unified union meeting on the eighth. Yeah, on the eighth. And that's going to be similar to what we already had it. Only yeah. hopefully yeah. not get stopped. Hopefully one that actually does something. Yeah. But and I guess I can separate this and talk about this on the executive committee, but I just wanted Did we have child care at the last one? No. 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 And, and I think it would be, I, I, that's my personal feeling that it would be helpful for some, because I know there were some parents that couldn't come or they didn't want to come because they didn't have that, that option. So we could discuss it with the other ones and then give some guidance to, to Bill if that's what we want to do. So I just wanted to run that by you guys. I don't know if you have a child here and there's some nominal cost and you just share the cost. And would we have U32 students doing it? Would we have, I mean, who would be providing the child care? That's so what we got to figure that out. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So first was just like, bring it up to the executive committee and see what they think. And I don't know how that being brought up. Or yeah, we'll see. Okay. Any questions? Any other questions about April 9th or 4th? So 4.2 Act 46. So you'll see, I, mean, I sent you all this afternoon late. I was trying to work on it since about last Thursday, was trying to put together dates. Um, Lindy, I'm, I don't mean, I'm going to thank you last time. You helped me when I did a couple things that I missed on my draft. So please look at it. And that's why I said in my email this afternoon, this is my first draft of this. So if there's something that looks like it's out of whack, just let me know. You know. Or if I miss something that should be on there, let me know. I tried to place things based on three or four different versions of the calendars and different things going on. So people knew all the uh, meetings from here until the end of the school year. So I haven't looked at the dates yeah. itself, but can we have, so I know she can't issue those, the petitions or whatever. Right. Until, but could she bring them on the eighth? So if everything goes through, that we could these the, the two that are running could get that. So the reason I'm asking selfishly is I'm gonna I can take them and bring them here and get yeah. just yeah. signatures and do it pretty rapid fire. Yeah. So if I could get them that night, it would be. Um. My answer would be yes, but I need to talk with the town clerks and where mm -hmm. they feel comfortable. Okay. That's. That's some of the pieces. Would you guys? Yeah, I mean, it makes you, sense. Are you yeah, planning yeah. for the transition? The board? That's the where the clerk and the chairperson were at. Originally, you are on the board. Yeah, but yeah, is, okay. I, is your you're on the transition board? Does your intention right. to run for the unified union? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yes, I hadn't really thought about it. Maybe, maybe had we talked about it? Maybe. Mm -hmm. I think my old timer is clicking in. But yes, we talked about yes. it at some point. Is uh, anyone from U32 board running? Um, I do not know. Karen. From the East Coast. Kari Karen. won't be, but yeah. Karen might. Karen, Karen might. No, yeah. I, don't, I didn't think she was. Mm -hmm. From what Kari was. But I, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Right? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. Many, you know, we have two from, have for us, would be two, two correct? Yeah. Our lab. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For the first. So, in so Act 46 update, uh, besides the dates that we all have, yeah, anyway. it's, I would just say with that calendar that I put together there, it's pretty tight. So, 
I mean, it is literally <laughs> thing thing to, to get to a June 25th budget vote. And have we had any clarification about the, if we don't pass the budget before July 1st? If, so. yeah. Well, there's, there's, rec there's guidance from the secretary, uh, and I know that there's talk in the legislature where they might go. Um, but I don't, I haven't, I haven't had a chance to read for this amendment if it was in there. Yeah, H39, the version of the computer is, is that. But H, a, a, on H39, they do a, provide good guidance and it's, it's, it's better. But H39 also includes delay on, on implementation at 46 for a uh, whole year. So That's it depends. Cool. So right, but there's also, there's different the talks budget, about if there yeah, isn't the a budget, budget voted. Yeah. yeah, so if we were not to, I'm trying to look. Uh, it's, it's, do you have the text of the bill right there? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. So, floor, I would, I would right. recommend that we don't answer it unless we have the text in front of right. us. I'd be glad yeah, to pull it up if you'd like me to. My computer died, but I'm pretty sure With, I have it. Yeah. Because yeah. things are. They keep changing. Computer, yes. But, and people are saying things that aren't really in the bill, but exactly. that they're feelings of them. And yeah, unless it's in there. I was getting confused when I was reading he said, she said kind of thing. Yeah. So. School district mergers under the state board shall be on July 1st, 2019. If the relevant board does not determine the operational date of the merger under supervision of NA, this is. Yeah, the end of the So, A. If the first budget of the newly formed district has not been approved by voters on or before June 30 for the next fiscal year, the agency of education shall authorize an amount of educational spending for that newly formed district equal to the cumulative educational spending amount authorized by the most recent voter approved school budgets for its forming districts multiplied, I believe it was by 4%, so multiplied. The, per uh, the percentage that represents the average statewide increase from the prior fiscal year to the current fiscal year in school district education. Spending authorized by the voter approved school district budgets based on data as received by the agency of education before June 14 or the prior fiscal year. So if we all get approved budgets. So it doesn't mean, if, you, if there isn't a voter approved budget that's for the merged district, the new budget is this current year times this current year, this current year times only. one plus the average increase of all the budgets that were submitted before June 14th. Mm -hmm. So if the average across the state increase was 2%, it would be 1.02 times this current year's okay. budget. Mm -hmm. This current year. So independent of we, if we pass the budget. If, if we don't pass a budget. If we don't pass No, no. If we pass a budget as this school, not as yeah, the rest of the school. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't matter. Pass the budget as the board. Yeah. The so that, district. and that is in the Senate's bill. It's got to, as we all know, go to the conference committee and then come out. So will that be there or not? I, I would suggest our take is the legislature is discussing discussing ways to, to have a budget if the vote's not in time. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's it's still in the middle. I would just hate to get into the weeds. Even what the, is in the bill to me isn't really super clear. Mm -hmm. So I think the thing to me to, to answer the question is the legislature's working on it. Um, they're aware of the problem. You feel comfortable that they will come up with a plan. Um, you could reference what they currently have, but that's likely to undergo changes as well. So they're aware of the need to, to put a mechanism in place if there's not a budget by the 30th. The trouble would be for us, I think, is what the Senate has currently recommended 
that budget would be less than our accumulated budgets for this year? Uh, I don't know that, Steve. Yeah. Okay, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't say just that you say that. Okay. Um, Lori wanted to go do calculations, and I actually stopped her. I said, right now, we need to focus on local budgets. I'll focus on that once there's a transition board, and we can have that discussion. So I, but it's also kind of a moot discussion, because whatever's going to happen is going to happen. We don't have any saying it, so other than being aware of what it is to explain it to constituents. I, th I think, from my perspective, I think that it's important to know that actually something is attempting to be happening because I think the 87.5% number that scares me. Scary. So yeah. the, I think just having that statement that legislators work, the, the legislature is working on something is an important thing. And they, they heard the secretary in his letter and his yeah. suggestion that he didn't think that was relevant because they were in organizations. Mm -hmm. And he said and he was recommending to the legislature to take it up. Yeah. This section is pretty clear, though. It's by the most recently voter approved school budget. So that's why I want to say this. I, I was it could be district at the time that the new district takes, it could actually. Yep. Let's let it work through joint yeah. fiscal, yeah. joint legal, and all that. Let's not try to overanalyze. It seems to change day to day. <laughs> that wasn't not, your plan? Let's not do that. <laughs> uh, no. But also, we, you know, talking about the, this bill that is on the now it's 39, it would be good for, for you guys to reach out to the senators that represent us and express, you know, how do you think about the delay? Because I, you know, I, I remember the VSBA, we you know, voted against that delay after we got a lot of input from over the state, making a delay, especially for us, is harmful. It's really harmful. Mm -hmm. So, should we take a position as a board on that? I don't know what we Since we're here, you know, since we're here today, we could. Well, if we do, who's going to communicate it to the senators? I'm, I'm happy to send it to the Senate. It would be okay. Because it's really that, that it's okay really with me. Helpful. I mean, I, I don't favor delay, and if that's the feeling of everyone on the board, uh, it I, might be a, a, a better way to communicate it as yes. the entire board. We, feel, we would all have to feel that way. I, I yeah, agree. I feel that way. <laughs> I've been wanting I, this to move along for a while. <laughs> so I, I don't think it requires a motion. I think we can just authorize our chair to communicate with. Mm. I'll make a motion <laughs> <laughs> that we authorize um, our board chair floor to communicate to our um, senators. Is that a fair enough way to say it? Yeah. Meaning the ones that are serving us, our senators. That the East Montpelier Elementary School Board um, does not support a delay in the implementation of Act 46. I'll second that. Any discussion on that? I see, I see that you're... Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'm going back to the... We signed on to the alternate governance proposal um, as a way to maintain some level of cohesiveness across, not that there's a whole lot of cohesiveness across the district. I wonder if, I wonder if there's positive or negative value in uh, making that statement at this time. And I, I don't, I'm asking the question of the board. I don't huh. actually have a good sense. One it's, a, or the it's a true other. observation because it's different to communicate in private individually yeah. as compared to making a. But and this board has statement. been solidly behind Act 46 all along, so uh, it, you know it's not going to come as a surprise to anyone. But I, I can tell you, like I usually try to be the consensus person and worry about, and I. I had the most horrible experience last week testifying. I was not even testifying, I was just 
sitting as an executive board member, and I literally got harassed out of the state house by one of our residents, not for me, it's one failure. And, and my worry with the bill really is more about the part there that the transitional board will vote in delay or not delay, which means that we politicize education even more than we're doing it right now. So we would be campaigning for whoever is on that board on pro or, you know, whether for or against F46. And that's not what we want. They, and you know, I have read a lot of testimony from, from different people. John from the Gulf did a really great job as a, he's going to do a resident, as a superintendent, and as a, um, he did for superintendents and as the superintendent, and that's for Barry too. But uh, so for the superintendent association, for Barry superintendent, and for as a resident. And I, I just feel, but that's just uh, that's just me that we have crossed that we have crossed that threshold where it is you know, harmful because it's not going to get any better. All the testimony that we've <laughs> heard and when, what I'm hearing from from them right now is not a willingness to talk and get more time for us to get the work done. Mm -hmm. that, that's so, it's not more time like, oh no, my God, I'm feeling really bad for the board yeah. members that need more time or mm -hmm. for our administrators no, that need more time. It's to try and more. stop it. So, and you know, I, I, and I, I don't have okay. any paperwork to, like, but you can, you know, it was not dramatic, but it was pretty, you know, like, Basically, what I was told. Is, but basically, what I was told is like you know, I screaming was that I, I was not going to, I was going to be voted out of the SBA and never voted again on the school board. So it's not like by <laughs> somebody who's not in our community to vote for you. You what? Oh, <laughs> no, I know, oh but it's like you know, be voting at large. And I'm, I'm not concerned because it's not about me. I'm not concerned about that. But ultimately, work is the. You know, that's it's the that ugliness for, that's been going on. Exactly. So yeah. it keeps that division between our communities. We did such a good job, I feel, like we needed to have those conversations as long as they were for an alternative governance. We ended up understanding our commonalities and what else we needed to work on as, as, as a whole. We have the leadership team doing great work. So to continue this, this fight at this point, we, we already, all of our schools have a budget that and so it's really that, that's just my personal feeling that it doesn't it, it doesn't help us <laughs> to have uh, to have time. Like. We either gonna yeah. have twenty minutes twenty meetings right now or extend them over a year. We're gonna have hundred meetings over a year. Okay. But do we want to communicate <laughs> our stance as a board, or do we want to communicate to the senators as individuals? I think it's more powerful as a board than as individuals, but it's however everybody feels. Comfortable. I'm, I'm comfortable. I don't think it's been a secret how we feel as a board. board. I just wanted to ask the question out loud. Yeah, my view is I think we need to start filling the relationships in the other, with the other communities and delaying for a year is not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's going to cause more of a divide than I think we'll have a short-term uh, increase in um, disagreements or and then we'll move, move forward versus having another year and three, three or four months to hash everything over and over again. So I would, I'd be for presenting a unified front to the Senate. We should sure take action. You have a motion yeah, on the so table. We'll put it Just call for the vote. So, yeah, so you did the motion, and who seconded? Actually, second. Actually, second. Actually, second. Yeah. All those in favor of the motion from Stephen, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Could I, I just have to back this up one minute. Yeah. On the preparation for April 9th, yeah. we have to have like a town meeting that night. Yeah. Because. Yeah. And then on here it says a possible transition board meeting. 
on that night. Yep. On your calendar. I know. Okay. So that would be hard for... I, I understand that, Lindy, it's going to be hard for Doty as well. We need to post a warning basically that day for the election so people have time to get their petitions in. Every day we wait is another day for people to, that when you ask if people could get have petitions that night, mm -hmm. I, I, they may not give out petitions until the warning is posted. Okay, so the our could we make little later? town meeting is at what time? 5.30? Could we make it at 7? They don't need to give out petitions. I, I, I'm not going to well, respond to that, just because it's, it, it is part of the climate that we're in right now. If it's not warned, it prob I know they're There's not people who will. There are people that will contest the petitions. Yeah. The, uh, I, I think we're faced with the reality over the next couple months that there's a lot of work to be done, mm -hmm. and it's likely that we're going to have to divide our efforts to get everything. Because the transition so, board. So there may have to be three people at the mm -hmm. at the at the uh, Here. ninth presentation, and two other people are at the transitional board meeting. It's just mm -hmm. it, it, it's like it, I, I, if you look at all those dates, you start pushing stuff back. Right. So I, I think what we do is we just have to say we can only have three at one and two at the other. If, yep. You know, if possible, stagger the times, but so it's going to be a problem for all kinds of people, so you just have to figure it out. When we have a, when we say we have a, a meeting, what a, we didn't do it, some it things. Yeah, it's like the town meeting, it's a miniature town meeting that we're doing on the night. Like we had some articles and things we didn't deal with at the real town meeting. Mm -hmm. I, just, people may not even show up. I, nobody may show up. So if nobody shows up, what? You, just do you have the you voters that are here. You're all voters, and you can yeah. you take care it. of the articles. Okay. Yeah. Because do you remember just which articles? Yeah, here are there. Are there. Okay. Mm -hmm. To hear and act upon the report of the town school directors. Which we? Uh, shall the school district authorize the board of school directors to call any other fund balance which in 30th, 2019, in a reserve fund? Is that so? And uh, shall the school district authorize the board of school directors to borrow money? That's the most important one. Mm -hmm. so that's and I think that's the best. Should be money. relatively short. Yeah. yeah. Should be. Okay. I, I think. I know we're saying should. Obviously. <coughs> and to transact any other business. Okay. So it's just the standard. Okay. Yep. So as we get closer, we can figure out who goes where and okay. how it's done. Yeah. Because people already went to a town meeting. They're not thinking they have to go to another town meeting. No, I agree. I don't think. I don't think so. Either. Okay, so we're done with chapter six. Reports to the board, administration. Um, so Alicia put her report in here. She's on the way. She's off to professional development with about four of her colleagues right now. Uh, not from here, but fellow principals and Michelle Sepka down to Infinite Campus Training in New York City. Um, and so she has, you'll see her report in here. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that, uh, so if you have any questions about that, I'd be glad to relay them to her, but uh, there's a lot of great work. I was just here this afternoon. Things were, kids, are, kids and teachers are doing some work around here. And great to see. I got to work with three or four boys, which was a lot of fun. Last week, um, there's a group of literacy coordinators throughout the state that we've created kind of our own. This is in my work, yes. my work job. Um, we created a group, and we generally meet at the Vermont NEA because they have a conference yeah. room. Well, it wasn't going to be available because we changed the date, and Kathy Christie said, I'll host it at the school, and we met here. So we had um, literacy coordinators from Stowe and... Huntington, the, whatever that one is, Mount Mansfield Unified Union. Mm -hmm. um, there were probably five or six, six of us who met here. And what we all decided was meeting in a school made a lot more sense. We enjoyed it. Kathy gave a tour of the school. It was really good PR for the school mm -hmm. to see. We went in every classroom, um, visited, saw all the beautiful resources. And um, I just, I thought I should share it with the board because it's not something you'd hear about. And yet it's, 
it's good for people and all of us decided that our next meeting instead of being in a conference room not around children it'll be um, in a school and we're going to take turns in each other's schools um, so it all was because a conference room wasn't available and the space was available here so uh, I appreciated it and it was really nice um, Alicia touches on it responsive classroom and PBIS but I have to say the staff here is doing some phenomenal work in ensuring that um, the, and the, I think the highlight for me, and I've been here a couple of mornings when it's happened, but when they've done the cross grade level groups that I'm working on learning, you've got kindergartners sitting there with sixth graders, you know, all, all, all grade levels. So, you know, I, they, there should be a real celebration of how strong that is and how strong that is in the school. Michael leads a lot of that, but it's just, it's working really well and uh, to see the kids really That's just, I just have to put an extra stamp on when I look at all the titles that we're going to stamp on. It's just, and it's an all whole staff effort. So yeah. it really is. It's a great, great piece of work, and they've done really, really well with that. Um, but if you have any questions, I, I know all of you can contact Alicia as well. Yeah. Um, the other things I would say is I gave you a, a draft of the recommended meeting schedule for April, May, and June. That went out today. Um, I said earlier, please let me know if there's anything there you think should be changed um, or I'm missing something, please ask. Uh, the next thing, one of the things that um, Laura and I met on today that I'm hoping to have by Wednesday, but I may not, but I'll definitely have it by the 27th, is a report on our progress to merge the district. There are certain things that need to be done before now as you know, we're kind of on a two-track option, and there's things that need to be done literally in the next week to be able to make July 1st if there's a merger at that point. Um, I mean, a good example is we already have our tax IDs, our federal IDs, are nice. registered with uh, unemployment, the labor department. Um, you know, where official name is registered with Secretary of State. So things like that all had to happen first. Um, but now that we're gonna start get, occurring some expenses, which is we have to start building our financial system, electronic financial system, which we're gonna have to incur some costs from the software vendor to help us do it. We just don't have the, the personnel, mm -hmm. staff, time, frankly, and they have to rebuild it. They have to spin up another database for us um, to keep track of the whole financial system. So that's, I'm going to, I have notes of like two pages in this little binder of mine, but I need to get it on a, a written report for everyone of what some of those are and some key dates that we have to hit uh, to be able to be ready July 1. And, uh, and some of those costs. We'll get those all set for folks. Was that budgeted? No, because we need to know what the voters, how the voters want to approve that, if they'll allow us to expend money or not. And but is that part of the supervisory union? So here's the thing. We have found that um, while the supervisory union has given us authorization, authorization if we're in a gray area, some voluntary mergers have done some from their prior districts, some have said, hey, you got to put everything towards a new district. There isn't a clear-cut guidance on this, and there isn't a clear-cut statute on this. It's suggested that it all goes towards a new entity, and that's why that's one of the articles in the district organizational meeting, is to allow expenses to be incurred and paid, so we borrow some money to be able to do that and have that go to next year's budget. Um, and so all the legal bills, as the executive committee approved earlier, or approved to come out of the SU budget. Um, but there are some questions about that. And okay. there's just, it's not clear, but I can't say, hey, it's got to be this or it's right. got to be that. But you have the resources you need. Yeah, we're fine with it. Yeah, we can figure out what we need. I mean, that's why the conversations with the executive committee next week, if we have time, we only have an hour meeting. So. This Wednesday. This Wednesday, sorry. This Wednesday. Thank you. The June 25th vote, if I'm looking at your. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That would be an Australian ballot? In the well, US it depends on what the district organization meeting decides on April 8th. Mm -hmm. Has anybody heard any feedback as to what the, um, I don't know the word I'm looking for, how things are looking? Like what's in the wind? What's in the wind, yeah. <laughs> 
for the way for what for right. the people way. last time we heard people were planning to stop the meeting or to do things like that if anyone's heard anything i haven't yet i haven't uh, Yet, but hopefully, you know, that age 39 will be out with either delay or not delay or some clear guidance. Well, <laughs> that, that one includes some consequences, not consequences, but you know, like it pretty much says you have to have that organizational meeting in right. order to have a delay. We have the full board meeting next Wednesday, right? Yes. yes. So that might, might help bring Why stuff not? out of the woodwork. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Besides that, the, the, I, mean, I talked about East Mount Baker, but all the schools are going. There's a lot of good stuff. Get into a school, you'll go see it. Mm -hmm. They're good schools. Yeah. And hopefully you saw some of them came home. Uh, some of we got to put up online, but there was a, a four-pager that went out. And now we went through a poem through the elementary schools about uh, Washington Central just celebrating some good stuff that's going on in all the schools. It was in the, you saw an abbreviated version in the Times Argus, was it the 7th or the 6th? It's one of those days. Steve Pappas has been partnering with, uh, with Montpelier, Washington Central, Barrie, and Central Vermont to have devote a page a week to work from the schools. And kids work, not, not administrator, not teacher. What are the kids doing? And, I, and so it's been a great partnership. We've only, I think there's only been three runs so far. But um, Steve had a good idea with that. Any more from administration? I know. Well, I did notice in Alicia's report that they. It, I wasn't sure if it was hopeful or that a long-term special educator. <laughs> We're working on it. It's hopeful. It's not. There's concrete. such a shortage it's, that I was worried. Yeah, we're in, we're in a bit of a quandary right now because of licensing standards mm -hmm. and what we need to have. Um, because it's took more than 30 days, so we have to have an endorsed person. Right. Okay. That's not easy. Nope. So that's been quite, we've had two versions we thought were gonna work, and things fell through. Mm -hmm. One version three. Mm -hmm. so fiscal. fiscal, nothing's changed since the last time you, you saw it in February. So that's the same, it's basically the same report. Uh, you guys are in great shape. You know, you're over a four percent threshold, and I think you know, in May, most likely or June, we'll be talking about moving funds to the capital reserves. Okay. 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 Second of May update. We have a meeting on Wednesday. That would be my second meeting. Yeah. Meeting. At the last meeting, we spent most of our time just doing the getting ready for the organizational meeting. Mm -hmm. Things happen. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys have a chance to look at the minutes if you have any questions. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, but you know, after we say some sort of. Do you have anything else to add? Nope. Uh, we're going to meet briefly for an hour because that's about how we could squeeze it in. Yeah. Probably could use a little bit more, but. Our last meeting, we met for like 10 minutes. Actually. 10, 15 before, minutes. Before meeting, we, did some we need board the board orders approved. Right. So I don't know how much you're working on this. So. Yeah. Did the makeup of the executive committee change? It will. Um, it, Berlin doesn't have a nominee right now since they're without a quorum. Mm -hmm. um, at so far, at Doty and Romney, the, Chris McVeigh is still on from Romney and Matthew Boots on from Doty. Okay. U32 will be assigning tomorrow night. Okay. Um, and Cal said so you'll still have Dorothy just because they're in between. We've done this before. The executive committee has met before everyone's done. And reorganized. Reorganized. So you, uh, we work this way. We work with the folks that are in the yep. chairs. And I think it, from the emails, it's not going to be the process that came. Yeah, there has been an option. Yeah. There has not been a policy meeting. Hasn't that been a school body committee? We haven't had a school body committee. We're getting a vote to hopefully 
you can get bonus. Kids work soon. Uh, negotiations? At negotiations, um, I'm be careful what I say and hope the meeting. We have a temporary agreement, just like we said at the last, mm -hmm. last carousel meeting. We have a temporary agreement. We're really close. Hopefully, we'll we have something to you. We may need a, at least a quorum on the 27th, so we want to be able to start doing some ratification. And we're starting the ESP negotiations. We're exchanging lists of issues tomorrow. Okay. So you said on the 27th? On the 27th. We have our carousel. Oh, the I might okay. quickly yeah. ask everybody if I'm waiting to hear from the association. As I knew, as of Friday, we were, we had one little tweak that was like, just replace a word. And we were agreement on it. So I just haven't received the email, go, let's go for ratification if that's the case. I'm gonna ask for what boards can have a quorum to have a quick meeting just to adopt the teacher agreement. Right. Okay. It's a quick meeting outside of the- Carousel, because we need to do it Oh, we don't have our own individual meetings at that No, it's oh, just, okay. a, it's just, just an SSU meeting. Gotcha, okay. But if we can do it quickly, yeah. I think out of habit, I assume. Right. Well, they usually are, but yeah. people have had their March meetings. We tried it one year to have reorganization and as right. a carousel March, and it just didn't work. Yeah. So. Oh, that's cool. I just. Yeah. Now we're back. We'll do more on that. <laughs> well, we are going to have kids there on the 27th, we think. So please. Oh, that's good. So it's March 10th. That's a big So action agenda, which is the one action that we had. Do you yeah. have anything else to Just, add? Just the board orders that you've yeah, signed. Yeah, we don't the board orders. So approve 7.1, and I have a motion to approve the board orders. I'll make a, I'll make a motion to approve the board orders. There's two of them, one in the amount of $24,738.95, and the other one is $31,163.82. Second. Second. Take your pick. Oh, who's in second? Okay. Thank you. Steve or I. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Did you send that? Yeah. Okay. So future agenda yeah. items. You need to vote. Did we vote? Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. All <laughs> those in favor of approving the board orders? I can say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Future agenda items. I don't think we have time for any future agenda items. Mm -mm. Okay. No. So our next. Our next meeting is April 22nd. So I took a little bit of liberty. Your, you would have had your meeting would have been um, April 15th would have been the third, but it's vacation. Yeah. And this board has always moved it. So if you don't have any objection on the schedule, I moved it to the 22nd. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to be out of town. Yeah, you guys on the 27th. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the Monday coming back from break. It's the Monday coming back from break. I just wanted to check because for you, for both East Montpelier and Calus, I might be asking Calus on Thursday. Liberty, but people didn't want to meet their vacation. So that yeah, that's it. April twenty second. Yep. Right by his house. I do everything. Okay, so it's fine. Everybody goes green. <laughs>